So recently I was talking to some friends and I did something I don't normally do. I engaged in some hyperbole and I said that the recent popular revolution in Egypt was one of the top five international news events since the end of World War II. And if you make a statement like that, the, automatically the next question is, of course, what, what are the top five events and what number was Egypt? So I had to think about that and I came up with this list that I want to share you share with you. Number five, okay, let me just say one thing. By When I say the end of World War II, I don't mean the day Japan surrendered. I mean the circumstances of the world as they were at the end of World War II. So what that eliminates is the onset of the Cold War. I, I'm taking that as the initial conditions at the end of World War II. Of course, now that I said that, that gives you a little hint of something that's coming up on my list. Uh, all right, so the descent of the Iron Curtain over Eastern Europe and the rise of the Soviet bloc and all that, that does not count. All right, so number five, number five most important international news events since the end of World War II, the 2008 economic collapse, which I believe is still playing itself out to this day. This is a, not only is it major because it threw so many people out of work and disrupted economies in the United States and some other industrialized uh, countries, but it permanently it was a tectonic shift in the power structure. It knocked the U.S. and England and Europe down a little, and it's a, giving a little bit of a chance to, uh, to rise there in China, Brazil, India, and, and other countries that are taking advantage of this current situation. It, it's, it's a, it was a tectonic shift in the world power structure that is still going to play out over the next few years and decades. Number four most important international news event, the communist takeover of China in 1949. Whenever the biggest country in the world has a regime change, this has to be one of the uh, biggest events. The problem is that actually the communist takeover just took China out of the picture for 40 years and became basically an irrelevant country. What's really huge is the economic resurgence of China in the past two decades, or, or three decades, or however long you want to uh, assign it. So number four basically is China. So that's kind of a cheap way of resolving it, but that's what I'm talking about. All right, the number three event is, all, I'm also going to cheat here, Iran, the 1979 revolution that overthrew the Shah and put in the, the uh, religious fundamentalists, the Ayatollahs in power. But I want to wrap into that, actually, the 1952 U.S.-sponsored, CIA-sponsored coup that threw out the democratically elected government of Iran and put in our, our own dictator. And it set up tensions all across the world that continue to plague us to this day. So I, I want to put Iran in some way in there at number three for its symbolic and its actually real impact. Number two, then, is the democratic or a popular uprising in Egypt that threw Hosni Mubarak out. So that's amazing. Something that just happened a couple days ago is the, the second most important international news event since the end of World War II, according to Dave Kohler's list. I, I, don't, I have to think about it more carefully, but I think this is the first time in the Arabic world since the end of World War II that the people have risen up and threw out a dictator, and it wasn't a, a, a military coup. I think it's enormous. Of course it's too early to tell. But if this proceeds and the dominoes continue to fall as they did in Tunisia and then in Algeria, Jordan, wherever else it's going to happen next, this was definitely a top five and I'm putting it at number two. Huge event. And number one, the end of the Cold War, roughly 1989 to 1991, the fall of the Soviet Union. I still think this is major but it was a huge opportunity completely squandered by the U.S. and the Western powers. I, first of all, the Cold War was BS from the beginning, but it was used as the excuse. We can't do anything because we have to spend all this money on defense because there's the Soviet Union. We have to prop up dictators around the world because if we don't, the Soviet Union will have its influence with them. Everything bad that the U.S. did was because we had to fight the Cold War. Well, the Cold War ended the peace dividend kind of vanished and bad things were still occurring all over the world and the US was still supporting dictators. We, we completely squandered it. We let Russia, I don't know, we could have stopped it, but maybe we could have with international monetary policies we, and pressures. We let Russia just be taken over by corrupt vandals. Uh, 
The end of the Cold War was the biggest event since the end of World War II and it was completely squandered. In my next video I want to talk about some other events that nearly made the list but didn't. So stay tuned for that. Thanks.